Welcome to 60 Seconds with KG. This is the extended version. This is the fifth one I've done. And I'm in my mini dive right now in my favorite DDM drills. And last week I did uh, my favorite four versus three paint touch game. And it's really one that I like. So go back to ex the extended version four if you want to check that one out. It's really one that's helped us a bunch. Today I'm going to share two drills with you that I really love for DDM. It's our one-on-one -on -one arc game. And I call it arc because we arc the three-point line. And it's my favorite of all the dribble around a cone, dribble around a coach, dribble around a person for just one-on-one. -on -one. You see a lot of times where you lined up with the hip and those are all great. But this is the one that I found that I, I like the best because I do think it develops in a realistic fashion, um, a, a small advantage that players have to work in. And, and there's an added benefit that I'll share. So again, we would have a blue team versus a white team. So let's say we, we'd have the ball here and then the other team here and we would have somebody matched up and you could do this from different spots you can start here you could start in the wing you could start in the slot you could start in the top wherever you want to start it but i'll demonstrate it here to demonstrate the middle drive that you get a ton in dribble drive so the ball starts here and the player goes whenever they go it becomes live or not live but becomes the drill starts for those two players this player must stay an arm's length to the three-point line so they can't be sagging way back so they get an arm's length away and it becomes live one-on-one -on -one when the offensive player breaks the three-point line, okay? And again, what you'll see is players will get crafty, they'll get savvy, they'll fake at that three-point line, so they're developing some basketball savvy. But the, the big advantage, obviously, is this one, for me, I found is, you know, oftentimes, if you get a huge advantage, you can veer in and finish. If you don't have as big an advantage, maybe it's a race to the back of the rim, maybe it's a two-foot here, maybe it's a rondo move, Doug Novak calls that the donut move. But the biggest benefit I've found is this, is when the defense does a good job, does a good job, and I'll show it on the next here picture, is the offensive player here and the defensive player has done a good job initially. We'll talk to players when they break that lane line of turning into a bully. And I mean that in a very positive way. I know that that, that word, and, and as a school teacher, we don't want to have any bullies in our school, but we want to play bully ball there. If we're, we're, at, a, we're at a chest situation where we see chest, we're going to really turn it into a uh, dribble into a post up, we call it. And uh, you see that a lot with guards now. And I think uh, we have found that a uh, great way for us to, you know, make up for a poor shooting night is, is getting our guards down in there. And what you'll find coaches is if you have maybe six guards on your roster, seven guards, whatever it might be, what you'll discover in this drill and by emphasizing that dribble into a post up, but two or three of them are pretty good at it. Maybe three or four, you're always gonna teach to kick to the window. But if you can get kids down in there with a little bit of savvy, backing into a post up, teaching them just some basic pivot, pivot, get cozy with your feet moves, uh, we've been able to, I think, really help our offensive productivity with this one-on-one -on -one arc drill with the added benefit of the dribble into a post up where we now are teaching our guards in a live situation, some very simple bully ball. You know, some guys call it Barclays, where you really go down there and, and pound them in. And it's been really beneficial for us. The second one is our um, four on four cutthroat drill, which I know that a lot of people have seen. And it's a very common drill. I just like to do it with a couple simple rules. So in our four and four, we, we identify what we want to be able to do in our dribble drive. And we'll have a nail cut. A lot of coaches call that loop. And we'll have a through cut. You know, we give that numbers in our vocabulary. Uh, our ISO, run a ton of that late shot clock, I'll pick a side. And then we may even throw in, and I'll use an Adrian Tiggett Wiggins, uh, who's a great guy, did a great clinic with Coach Hart, um, the, uh, uh, the dead fish, trying to attack him with a ball screen. So again, it's a basic cutthroat situation. And a lot of coaches start out here. Some can, some could be up, you, you can go wherever you want to. You know, I'll vary it up, but I'll, I'll, put the offensive players out. And let's say that day we're working on our nail cuts. So I'll throw that ball out. And then the other player here has to nail cut through. And then we're playing live. You know, the hope is to drag that defender, move the nail defender and get them through. Uh, we may throw it out and have that player through cut out. So now we've gone through our couple of cuts there in one time. And the ISO situation, we run, you know, a ton of isolations in a way that I, 10 years ago, I never would have run a ton of isolations. But because of our dribble into a post-ups and our guards being you know, able to Barkley or Billy up some players down inside, we really like this. So I'll throw the ball out. And again, let me realign everything so you can see this. Let's say we throw it out here and we get into our one action. Okay, for us, that's just 
one going one on one. So we'll take that ball over. This player will clear through like a Wahlberg push. We'll space away. And so we'll let that player play one on one from there. Okay. So that's again another option for us to just teach in our cutthroat a situation that we will do all the time. And again, with ball screens, coaches, if you have a ball screen situation in your offense and you want to go three out, one in with a post down in here and have them sprint out, we may have this player come over and set that ball screen, pick and pop if we feel like there's a situation there. But again, we're really trying to attack maybe a dead fish, a poor defender in our ball screens. Otherwise, we're going to try to move people with our dribble drive actions. But again, those are two of my favorite one for individual development, our one-on-one, -on -one, arc the dribbler, and then four on tour cutthroat, which is a very common drill, but I'm really emphasizing my DDM principles so that each day, not only in my five on five, but I'm emphasizing it in everything that we do so that we're able to progress in everything we do offensively. Good luck, coaches. Reach out for any with any questions. Be well.